If, like me, you have a hard time remembering dates, then adding people's birthdays to your Google Calendar so it automatically reminds you when they're coming up is probably a good idea. So if you use Google Contacts, here's exactly how to do it. Starting off, simply just go into Google Calendar, then click on the main menu in the top left if it's not already extended, and then make sure birthdays is selected, and Google is going to automatically import any Google Contact birthdays into your calendar. On mobile, it's pretty similar. Tap on the menu in the top left or just simply swipe right, and then make sure that birthdays is selected from the list. Now, if you don't see birthdays as an option there, make sure that contacts is selected instead. If you don't see either of those, go into the settings by first clicking on that cogwheel icon in the top right and then heading into settings. Then click on birthdays on the left hand side. First, make sure that the permissions are right. And below that, you can also select which accounts you also want to import birthdays from if you have multiple Google accounts. Then if you want to hide birthdays from a Google Calendar, it's as simple as unticking that birthdays option on the left hand side. Now, if you want to remove any birthdays individually, well, you are going to have to just remove that entire person's date of birth from Google Contacts if you want to do that. So just head into Google Contacts and into the person whose birthday you want to delete, click on edit and then click on the little X on the right hand side. Now again this only works if you have people's birthdays saved to Google Contacts. If you don't know, it's Google's platforms for managing contacts which may appear in one form or another. They could be people you have exchanged emails with via Gmail or maybe messages via Google Messages instead or really any other Google service. It's all pretty much linked together. So you are gonna have to use different methods if for example, you wanna import someone's birthday from Facebook where you most likely gonna have to input it one by one instead. But that is just how to do it via Google Contacts. So if you have found this video helpful, maybe subscribe to How To Authority for more like this in the future.